the men that are celebrated, the men that are lauded, the men that are championed, the men that are looked at with high esteem and get all of the accolades and all of that, they they get that as a result of what they produce, not what they feel. Okay. And so you were right. You are 100% right because there, there should be a balance, but we all fucking chasing something. And men innately chase greatness, right? That's their purpose. The, their goal is to be the best man that he could possibly be. And then that would translate because then they feel like their love to the people that surround them is 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 communicated by what it is that they provide for them. Because think about it. When women say what they want in a man, the first thing that come to their mind don't have nothing to fucking do with looks or any of that shit, right? It's provision and protection. They want stability, right? Nice. They want all of that shit. Yeah. That comes with being great. I'm still allowed to feel that way. Just like you don't have to agree that you're not the best listener. But if that's your best friend, that's your partner, that's that's everything, maybe you could take a couple steps back because the bigger picture is frameless. You take a couple steps back and see, well, how could I be a more supportive listener? What does it what does it mean when she's listening to me? Hmm. How would you feel if she's like, yeah, yeah, you, what at work? Okay. That, that's not, that's cool. not the same thing, Britt. Whatever. It's Whatever. not the same thing, Britt. <laughs> I'm about to go shopping. You know? like, how would you? But I'm it's saying, not I, the same thing, answer. Britt. How would you feel? No. How would you feel if she didn't really listen to you? I wouldn't care. Oh, boy. Ask her. I wouldn't trip. Would I, I, I heard her, her noise. I don't need to ask her anything because her not that non- that verbal, nonverbal statement already told me everything I need to know. So I'll give you an example, right? Yeah, you don't got to give me an example. No, 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 no. I'm going to give you an example in a general sense, right? A woman's perspective. <laughs> no, you stay right there. <laughs> she need to come over here. A woman's, like, for example, right? A woman's perspective as far as what, how a man loves. And I'm not talking about somebody that says, yo, I love you or whatever like that. Because that's fucking fleeting right okay. a lot of people say shit and they say oh i love you back just because they used to saying it doesn't necessarily mean that they actually mean it or they even know what love is it just means that they're just using it because they normal you know that's their normal cadence okay. in which they communicate with each in other right okay okay but let's just say for example a lot of times because women are more nurturing right they need that confirmation or they need that communication in their minds they might not even be saying shit but just because they can get out what it is that they feel, they may f they may feel more completed as a result of that you listening to them or they're feeling like you listening to them. A man's perspective of what love is the f is the fact that the lights cut on and off. You know what I'm saying? Is that he out here fucking killing himself every single day to make sure that he provides and protects for you. So because he doesn't communicate that, hey, I am doing this or I love you or so on and so forth, it's a miscommunication between both parties, not necessarily because he doesn't love her, but his perspective of what love is, is different from hers because they're just innately two different types of people. They are a man and a woman and their, and their purpose on this earth is different, right? So it doesn't mean that he doesn't love her or it doesn't mean that he doesn't communicate, but his form of communication is through his actions and the fact that he's going out and killing himself every day. And so she doesn't feel like she's getting what she needs out of it because he's not communicating the way that she wants him to, but it doesn't mean that he doesn't love her. And so the thing, and this is the one of the reasons why I think that this is this conversation is important between both of us, because we're looking to understand one another instead of debate each other, right? When I hear you talk, I'm like, man, you know, that's crazy because when I put it together with the book, so on and so forth, it gives me a, a better perspective of who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that it invalidates you, but it also means that I have a different perspective because I'm comparing that with my own life experiences and saying that, but men think a little bit differently like this. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So men just communicate differently than women because innately we are just two different types of 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 creatures okay that's just the way that we are men do shit and they be like yo but what about them fucking lights over there and they be like yeah but you never got me a flower in the last three months you know what i'm saying it's just a completely different perspective of how men and women communicate mm -hmm. but i don't think that either one of us are looking to understand each other just men and women in general they just looking to be validated by saying that, but he hasn't paid attention to me in the last three months. 
I feel like there's, I feel like I gotta put that down because there's, a, there's a lot to unpack in what you just said, but like, as someone who has a son mm -hmm. and dealing with a lot of people's sons, you got your hands full. I truly believe that the way that we condition men, we are responsible for, okay? There needs to be some accountability with that. There is a huge contrast with how, as young women, how we are taught to communicate our little hen huddles with our friends and the, the, being able to express ourselves. There is a huge gap that I feel like needs to be closed because keeping lights on and conversation, engaging conversations, they are not the fucking same. One does not substitute for the other. I agree. And I feel like with my son and men that I've dealt with, they have been brought up because people got to take accountability way that what they're instilling in their children in society as well. You guys are teaching men to shut the fuck up and they're bitches and they're pussies and they're this and they're simps and they're that. And that's why there's such a fucking, like, why are we speaking different languages? You're talking about women who are from a young age, talk 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 And men, y'all, not saying nothing. Your only value is work hard, keep the lights on, and everything else will align. I can't imagine what that's like my only value is if I fucking slave away and then I come home resenting everybody in my life because why the fuck am I the only one working here? <laughs> and then I'm going to supposed to want to talk about your pedicure. You don't give a fuck. Suck my dick. Right. But that's not like that's fucked up. Well, you know why it's fucked up though? It's because the men that get chose are the ones that produce and it's not the ones that are feeling. Okay. The men that are celebrated, the men that are lauded, the men that are championed, the men that are looked at with high esteem and get all of the accolades and all of that, they, they get that as a result of what they produce, not what they feel. Okay. And so you are right. You are 100% right because there, there should be a balance, but we all fucking chasing something. And men innately chase greatness. Right. That's their purpose. The, the goal is to be the best man that he could possibly be. And then that would translate because then they feel like their love. To the people that surround them is 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 communicated by what it is that they provide for him, because think about it. When women say what they want in a man. The first thing that come to their mind don't have nothing to fucking do with looks or any of that shit. Right. It's provision and protection. They want stability, right? That's, they want all of that shit. Yeah. That comes with being great. 